one question. Yeah, I've heard about the seven big cities in which you can invest, and then the larger scope of 14. I was interested to know what is the price ticket on an asset if you go to the smaller cities. You, you are hearing that size of the office would be important due to the size of the city in which you're investing. Uh, looking at the investors I see in Paris, people are saying, well, we are sitting on 100 million, 200 million to invest in, and so forth. The question is, in Paris, if you get a, a nice, decent office in the city, you're talking about 50 million euros. But if you go to the, one of these 14 cities, we have to take care of the size of the office building, what would be the price tag on something like that? Here I can place 150 million into three buildings. Do I have to have in Germany 15 buildings to do that? Or how do they place the 150 million? That would be my question. Well, um, of course, the, the smaller cities and the smaller regions in comparison to the top seven are not as liquid as, uh, uh, as the top seven. And the objects which you can or which you should buy as also what uh, Marcus indicated, shouldn't be the biggest, uh, the biggest office uh, in the city. Um, you do have to have more transaction, yes. The ticket size is less than in Paris or in London or in Munich, or it can be less. Uh, but it will be something in the range of 10 to 40 million that you can uh, buy in each city in these prosperous areas, uh, which ends up your 100 million being two, three, objects for objects that you will have to invest in. Um, <clears throat> but you also, if you see it from the, from the yield side, you end up with a double, double yield. So the costs that you do have in addition, uh, being having to, to, uh, to uh, operate four different buildings, it's, of course it's, it's, it's higher, but the yield that you, that, you, that you get in these areas is if you have some four and a half or something in, in, in Munich, uh, you can get some seven, eight percent in the, in the uh, regional prosperous areas. So uh, the question is, is that something, do you just want to have one object to invest in with your 100 and 150 million? Is that the task? Then you're not uh, in the right uh, investment area to go to the, to the, uh, to the regional uh, prosperous areas. But from yield and stability and uh, 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 and this this uh, regards, uh, it's it's the right thing to do. It's from my point of view. It, it, it's, if you have three objects, then then you do have at, at least a less risk than than if you just invest in one property in in Paris. Uh, this is digital. Well, it's, it works or it doesn't. But if you have three of them or four of them, then if there are some slight changes, uh, then uh, the risk is. Uh, less than if you have just one investment. Uh, you have to go to smaller size, uh, like you said, 10 to 40 millions. Uh, you get a shift on the yield, which uh, will go from 200 to 300 basis points more. And uh, yeah, as far as you are the lo <coughs> right location, um, right building, yeah, it might be less liquid than if you are in, in, in Munich or uh, Hamburg. But still, you have the local investors uh, who have a lot of money, so yeah, th that's the strategy. You can combine it with buildings in Hamburg, Munich, uh, central Dusseldorf, or, but if you want to get yield and diversity, that's good to go to the smaller cities.